In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to make those yellow busted teeth look a little bit brighter and whiter using Adobe Lightroom in a natural and realistic way. So you can go from an image that looks something like this to something that looks more like this with a few simple steps. I'm gonna go ahead and use this picture I took for the thumbnail for this video. So my teeth aren't super yellow. I drink a ton of coffee. They're not as white as they could be. Over here on the right side is a little brush icon. Go ahead and select that. And it'll bring up an effect dialog box. Uh, this is kind of where you can find several different effects you can apply to your image. We're gonna focus mainly on the teeth whitening. So if you don't see teeth whitening under effect, go ahead and select that and uh, go down to where you see teeth whitening. So your mouse will change to this little brush icon here. If you scroll up and down, it'll change the size of that brush. So the first circle is your brush and the second circle represents the feathering of that brush. The feathering just means you won't have a hard edge when you go to paint in your changes. So if you wanna change how much is feathered, you go to the right hand dialog box here and you can just decrease the amount that that's feathered. And if you look on the brush, if you can see the brush there, you can see the feathering getting larger and smaller. I usually like to leave a little bit of feathering so the change isn't as apparent and blends into the image a little bit better. So now that the feathering is set, go ahead and zoom into your image where you want to make the adjustment. And you can do this by hitting Command plus on your keyboard. So I'm gonna make the brush a little bit smaller by scrolling down on my mouse wheel. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and paint in the adjustment. I'm careful not to get it actually on the gums itself uh, and just kind of work it into the teeth. If you go on the gums, it'll kind of discolor your gums and it'll look pretty weird. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out now. And you can see that that's just way too white. It looks super unnatural. It looks like I've been hanging out by a, a nuclear power plant. So we definitely don't wanna leave it like that. So what I usually like to do is uh, adjust the default setting here in the amount slider. So what this is doing is it's adjusting the amount of the teeth whitening that's being applied to the application there. So I'm gonna bring it down and it should kind of adjust it back just a hair. So my teeth aren't, my teeth aren't glowing white but they are a little bit whiter than they were before. So if I zoom in once again and uh, toggle the effect on and off with the little checkbox here, you can see the change that I made. I'm gonna go ahead and bump that up just a hair. So now the teeth are a little bit wider, but they're not so white that it looks weird. This little black dot here represents your, your mask that you applied to the teeth. You can also move this around, but uh, you shouldn't need to do that. Uh, once you're happy with all the changes you made, go ahead and hit done. One bonus feature here, and something I use quite often, mainly on females for photography. If you go back into your effects brush here, you can go to soften skin light. I usually don't use this on men, but uh, for women with uneven skin uh, blemishes or anything like that, this kind of helps level anything out, gets rid of any glare or shininess or sweat that anyone might have on their face. So for something like this, I'll go ahead and increase the brush size by scrolling up and then just kind of painting in where I want the skin to be just a little bit softer. And you may or may not be able to see that the skin got a little bit softer, but if I toggle that on and off, you can kind of see it lifted some of the shadows and made my face a little less harsh. So I'll go ahead and bring that back as well because I like to have a harsh face. And go ahead and commit that change. So I'm gonna go ahead and export this image for, uh, for the thumbnail. So I'm gonna go up to File, Export. So if I'm exporting for web, I usually like to leave the quality alone here, um, but I will adjust the output sharpening. So I'll adjust, so I'll check the sharpen for, and then select screen, and then I'll do low, because if uh, I, I feel that medium and high is just a little bit too much, but low kind of adds a little extra crispiness and uh, a little extra punch to the image. And then go ahead, after you've made all these settings, go ahead and hit export to your desired location. Uh, shouldn't take very long. And after the photo is exported, you should be able to have everything you need there. Hopefully this video was helpful and you're able to brighten a smile of your client, your friend, your family, and uh, make your photographs all around a little bit better. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video. I uh, hope you gained some value and I'm super grateful for 
everyone that's subscribed and has commented and has provided encouraging thoughts and words uh, and suggestions. It's, uh, it's been a lot of fun creating these videos and uh, look forward to creating even more. If you have any suggestions as far as what you want to see, any tutorials or any questions you have, feel free to ask. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.